Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to look at some of the garage screens available with the Z1 dashboard software. These are the screens that you can view when you are connected to a SIM but not in the car. And they've been completely revamped as of version 4.11. So first up is the statistics screen. This gives you an overview of how you are performing on the track and the conditions of the track. Let's break the screen down into its various sections. You have your name, the car you are driving, and the type of session displayed here. The name of the track and its length, along with your position in the session. The current time on your computer and the time left in the session is displayed here. And next, we have the number of laps you have driven in the session and in the last stint. And if you're wondering what a stint is, whenever you go out on track and do some laps and then exit the car, that's a stint. And the session is the sum of all those stints. Uh, average fuel usage is shown here, and the fastest and average lap times in the session are here, and in the stint are here. Then, if your sim supports it, the current weather conditions are displayed in a scroll across the bottom of the screen here. So let's move on to the lap screen by clicking on the menu icon and choosing laps. This screen displays all the laps you have done in the session, and if a lap is an outlap or an inlap, it will be highlighted as such. Each lap is shown with all sector times, and if the lap or sector is the best in the session, it will be highlighted in purple. And if you have done more laps than can be displayed on the screen, then you can use the mouse wheel to scroll the laps up or down. And finally, the SL column shows the lap number in the sim for each lap. And this is done because it may differ slightly from how the Z1 software records your lap numbers, especially if you do multiple in or out laps. Next, let's look at the standing screen. And this shows the laps of all the competitors in the current session. Moving from the left to the right, we have the name of the driver, followed by an icon, which is either a P, meaning that they're in the pits, a G, if they're in the garage, or a steering wheel, if they're on the track. Next is their best lap time, followed by the delta to the best lap in the session. And the lap columns show first the lap number on which they drove their fastest lap, followed by the total number of laps they have driven in the session. Next, we have their car and class designation. And each class has a unique color assigned to it, allowing you to easily see which class they belong to. And finally, if you are running an iRacing, then there are columns for the driver's i rating and safety rating. And you'll also notice at the bottom right is the average i rating of all the drivers. And as with the lap screen, you can scroll the standing screen up or down using the mouse wheel. And your name is highlighted in red to make it easier to find in the list and any driver on your track driver's list will have an orange underline on their row. Uh, hopefully this explains the details in these screens and how they can help you. Thanks for watching and please join our YouTube channel.